The next posture we're going to take a look at is Mayurasana. So Pincha Mayurasana is the forearm balance, the feathered peacock. Mayurasana is the peacock pose. So if you've ever seen a male peacock walking, there's this very long tail of all of those feathers which are sort of folded up. And that long tail extends very far beyond the back body of that male peacock. So you have to walk around with this sort of fan tail, you know, swishing behind them. So Mayurasana actually replicates that same fantail feeling of the peacock tail. Now, Pincha Mayurasana is that that fantail went up, but it was pointing straight up, all right? Imagine to have that much control over all those feathers. That's kind of amazing. The important thing about Mayurasana is that it looks like you're lifting your back, but in actuality, it's the strength of the abdominal muscles which really hold you up. So we're going to practice Mayurasana in an unconventional way first. Now, I want you to Rotate your pelvis under and lean a little bit back like you're rowing your boat into a hollow body Navasana. Then release your hands, pivoting down until your sacrum is on the ground and then reach your legs forward. Now belly inside and place the elbows right into the middle of the body. We're going to hold that for five breaths. One, belly in. Two, feel the abs firm. Three, elbow squeeze. Four, five, inhale, come up. Two more times, exhale, hollow body go down, one, belly in, two. This is probably the single most effective thing that I did to learn Mayurasana, four, and five. Inhale, come up, exhale, go down. Last one, one, two, belly in, squeeze your body, three, look at your hands, four, five. Inhale, come up, exhale, release, good. So, did you feel your abdominal muscles? This is an important feeling, your abdominal muscles, because your abdominal muscles form the wall that your elbows press on. I remember I did this posture for so many years, kind of trying to place the elbows as far down into the pelvis as possible, but my teacher told me that my elbows were in the wrong position, and then he said, you gotta put your elbows right here in the solar plexus. So I thought, how am I gonna put the elbows in the solar plexus? Because this whole region of my body was so soft, so that whenever I tried to do my and I felt the elbows passing through the abdominal cavity. And one time I even felt my spine being pressed on with the elbows. And I just remember him saying, you gotta push. And you have to find the push, not just with your hands, but into your stomach. So that's why we do that little core exercise, the hollow body Navasana with the elbows in position. So you can really feel that's where I'm gonna put my elbows. Second thing is that be sure that you're lifting your body from underneath, your back muscles are engaged, but it's the lift from underneath that makes the biggest difference. Now to try Mayurasana, now your wrists need to be relatively flexible, so let's start to work on the wrist flexibility. Start off on your hands and knees, open the knees a little bit, and then bring your hands together, pointing the fingers towards the knees. Now from here, I need to go through a couple different positions. First, press into the heels of the hands, then press into the knuckles, then grip all your fingertips. Then from here, rotate the pelvis under, and let's just hold that for five breaths. Tuck your head down and look at your pubic bone. One. Two, look at the pubic bone, three, more pubic bone, four, and five. Release, inhale, extend the spine, and then again, heels of the hands, knuckles, fingertips, round the back, and rotate the pelvis under. Good, now we'll hold this for just a few breaths, and then we're gonna play around with some different hand positions. Lean your body weight back, so you can move towards your fingertips. You wanna feel a light stretch through the wrist, but keep your spine rotated under. Then push all your weight into the heels of the hands and lift all your fingertips. So lift the fingertips. You can even lift your toes. Let it feel like an activation. As you really reach up, up, rotate the pelvis under. Then squeeze the fingertips. This is going to be a little hard. Inhale, stand your legs up. Open the feet. Look gently down between the hands or right at the fingers, actually. And then rotate the pelvis under. Press into the heels of the hands. And really try to pull your pubic bone forward so you can really activate your lower abs. Grip all your fingertips. And then just lean your shoulders a little bit back. Squeezing into the fingertips. Hold it there. Steady, 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 steady. And then press the heels of the hands down. So you can really put pressure into the heels of the hands and rotate the pelvis under, 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 under. Relax. Bend your knees. Come down to a squat. Shake that out. Okay. So what you really have to feel in Mayurasana is that your weight shifts forward 
into your hands and into your abdominal wall, and this allows you to lift your body off the ground. Sometimes keeping the legs closer to the body rather than that long peacock tail back makes it a little easier to lift. Sometimes if you don't feel like you have a good abdominal wall, you end up feeling like a soggy banana. So in order to kind of get the feeling of the lift up and remove the soggy banana, we're sort of gonna do a Mayurasana frog. And the Mayurasana frog, you're gonna keep the knees close to the body, and then bring the legs up and out to the side. This will keep your weight closer to your center of gravity and allow you to be able to lift up with less effort and less core strength. Okay, so let's practice. Now, place your elbows into your abdominal wall, so this is that frog shape, and then lean forward, all right? So you lean your body forward and come down into the frog shape. All right, so you have that frog shape. Take your hands and just move them apart about an inch apart and then feel your solar plexus. Press the elbows into the solar plexus and then inhale, lift, knees to the side. They could even be in Baddha Konasana and just hold it there, really squeezing your elbows. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the elbows. Flatten the abdominal wall. Exhale, come down. Good, take your hands forward and then let's release the legs. Sometimes your legs get into a little cramp just from holding that, so hold your plank position to release the legs, and all the way back to downward facing dog. Nice breath in, nice breath out, keep the mind calm. And exhale, let's settle down again. So now we're gonna try that same technique from Mayurasana. So this time, instead of having that pivot point where you can lean and take your legs to the side like a frog, then the legs are gonna be back. Avoid jumping. There's this idea in your mind that you think, oh, if I kick my legs, I'm gonna get up. There's a feeling like you wanna kick, don't do it. Let the core strength of your body slowly lift you off the ground, even if it takes time. My Rasana took me about a year of consistent practice. I just tried this posture, I was a soggy banana, and then I wasn't after about a year. I was like less soggy banana. So it's like the reverse process of ripening. You start off as a totally soggy, overripe banana, and then you go all the way back until you're green and perky and no longer edible. Now, the interesting thing about Mayurasana is the peacock is a legendary and spiritual animal, and kind of the secret trick that the peacock is said to have is that it can eat poison, and it is not bothered by eating poison. Now, I wouldn't go ahead and try that. Uh, like, I wouldn't think, oh, I can do my arasana, so let me, you know, down a bunch of cyanide and I'll be fine. The, don't do that. It, the legend here, I think we can take as a spiritual lesson, which means that when you come into interaction with negativity around you, so if someone's spewing hate in your direction, you can not be harmed by it. You can kind of stay in your calm zone with your spiritual center where you're aware of the, the feelings and the hurt that may be around you, but you don't necessarily uh, take it on and identify with it and digest it and sort of own it and, 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 and bring it into yourself. Instead, you can be like the peacock, maintaining a calm center and let everything draw into a place of deep strength. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Mayurasana. So you might be a soggy banana today. That's okay. So the traditional way to enter Mayurasana is all the way from standing. Let's talk a little bit about that and go through the traditional entry. So your feet are hips width apart. Your hands come down. Inhale, you lift the chest, moving into that extension. Exhale, you round the back. You get to a point where your head doesn't fit. You can bend your elbows and bring them around. Bend the elbows and bring your head back out. So if your head fits, you can bring the head through. I often bend the elbows, I gotta be honest with you here, for vanity sake, because as soon as I don't bend the elbows, I mess my hair up every time and I just look a giant hairball when I'm done. So uh, you decide. <laughs> then gently jump back. And here's the place where you're thinking, how am I gonna, like, how do you get up from here? We're in this position, like, what happens from here? Well, first step, rotate the pelvis under, then start to bend your elbows, walk, back far enough so you can come up into almost like a Mayurasana plank. Then elbows into the body. And then you can even use your chin to get into a better position. I like, prefer not to put my chin down when I start. Belly in, lean forward and push. Using your abdominal strength to come up, think abs in. It's with the abs, all the abs. Exhale down. Inhale, upward facing. Now you can do a lazy upward facing like I'm doing here, or you can do the proper upward facing where you're gonna push 
and lift your thighs. Exhale, downward facing, same problem here. Bend the elbows, reach around, open the elbows, and then inhale, jump forward, and exhale, elbows in, elbows open, all the way back up. Shake it out for a moment.